I'm here because I am a roaring lion crying out righteousness. I sent out a post or a tweet indicating that we do have, in our efforts to keep our church out of the hands of the devil, we have taken out a $70 million, combined $70 million lawsuit against the uh, Mellon Bank founded by Alexander Hamilton and New York City. Um, and the registration number, if you want to go online to the federal court registry, if you type in 23CV02352-LGS, you will be able to read the entire history of the case that was filed in March, on the 17th of March. But we've taken this uh, lawsuit as a defense against those who are trying to take our property. After many years, we were on, we were the defendants, but now we're the plaintiffs. And I want to just keep everybody informed about this massive battle. The Mellon Bank is a $52 trillion institution that got started with Alexander Hamilton uh, back in 1784. They got money, but we're fighting them and we're going to win. And I just want to keep the information flowing about our fight. Um, and we're asking you to pray for us. I've taken this matter up as a personal uh, if you will, lawsuit against the bank and against New York City, uh, mainly because I, doing it that way, I can do it pro se. I can be my own lawyer. Now, one, many have said, if you, uh, he who represents himself as a, own, as a lawyer has a fool as a client. That very well may be true. But I have to tell you, I have been swindled by so many lawyers who've made deals with the city of New York, who've made deals with the Mellon Bank, who've made deals with other lawyers, and they just took our money and didn't bring us to the place of setting our church free. So now I'm going forward. I'm in a process now of studying and preparing to get ready uh, to meet the trial situation, but I ask that you would pray for us. And at some point, uh, our church can hire a lawyer and the church can take the same lawsuit or every member of our church can file a lawsuit because it's a civil rights issue and the injury that's been done to all of us as a result of this 20-year, if you will, non-relenting torment and anguish, uh, this death by a thousand cuts that we as the members of the Allah Church has suffered. Any member can take out a lawsuit against the city of New York and be successful. Now, they're going to fight back with everything that's within their power. They're going to fight. I know that. That's why I need your prayers. But I posted this yesterday, and I want to read some of the comments that people responded to. Uh, someone named, well, <laughs> Eunice Carter, who's a member of the church, uh, says it's fervently praying. Evangelist Charles Ogba said, I pray for your victory against all enemies of the church. Kenneth Mateo says, Hamilton, talking about Alexander Hamilton, was a traitor. That's why they gave him a Broadway show. They're all vichy. Um, and Faye Drake McAllister gave praying hands. Ronnie Jerome Stanton said, God, let your will be done. Daniel Claussen said, you have the victory living in, uh, living in you over to overcome Goliath. The bigger he is, the harder he falls in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Brother Daniel. Well, thank all of them so far. Uh, Noel Carolyn said, my prayers are always for you and the church family. Uh, Patrick Biggs said, God is with you, Pastor. And Thomas Crowder said, prayers. Christopher Woods gave the symbol of the praying hands. And Top Fan, who's a person who's a top fan of ours, uh, Canty Roberts said, it's long overdue that African Americans divest their trillions into meaningful investment institution. The People's Clearinghouse Bank singularly slave master vibes in play at the Mellon, and best as you seek justice. Natalie Vasquez gave five praying hands, and Lauren uh, Kennedy gave applauding hands. 
Dave Alling says, trust in the Lord. Steve Smith said, you beat them by paying them. And uh, I don't know what that means, Steve. I don't know. Maybe you, I don't know what that means. Doris Jackson says, God bless. Another top fan, Richard Deneglio, Denegal rather, says he's praying. And uh, Howard Lonnie Graham said, we will be praying. Now, this, this is a really very affirm affirmative report about what's going on. This is a major battle, and I'll speak more about it once I read the rest of these comments. And Nicholas Thornton said, in my prayers, Joe Childs gave a great big capital letter, all capital letters, amen. Angela King from down there in South Carolina, sending prayers, sending prayers, sending prayers, sending prayers, she said. And uh, Donald Springfield, this deacon, by the way, Donald Springfield, said, you indeed is the man. Uh, yes, indeed, this, is, this man is the Lord's servant. Pardon me, De Deacon Springfield. Let me read that again. Yes, indeed, this man is the Lord's servant, period. Anybody who doesn't know is simply crazy. In, amen, Springfield. Noreen Shab, Sh what's it, Shah, Shazaz, says, sending prayers, God bless your brother. Now, Tobias Green says, I-J-N, I, maybe that's some sort of symbol, something I don't know about. Minister Honecker said, praying every day. And uh, Jackie Burns Sears says, praying. Peggy Brown, may God prepare a table for you in the presence of your enemies. Carol Webster is praying pastor. J.R. Moore, say this out loud. Amen. Now, there's something there that's a little difficult for me to read. I'll get to it a little bit later. John Common, prayers, brother, sound like some sort of a political agenda. Warren Houston said, pray up for Pastor Manning. And Dean Forward, now this, of all those very positive prayers and amens and yes, sir, and praying and all those very positive, I got one negative here. I'm going to let y'all hear that one too, and then I'm going to not inflict myself upon you any further. Dean Forward says, I once like you for how you had the spine to stand up to, as you call him, the long-legged Mac Daddy Barack Obama. But when I saw that after the nightmare that was the Obama administration, you then turned on President Trump. I was very disappointed in you. I wish you well in your legal fight with the bank, but I have been unable to unwind all your drama to really know if it's the banks I distrust or if it is you. You know, I'm gonna read the rest of this. Uh, let me say something to you, Dean. You know, it is, it is, it is beyond uh, unconscionable that when I stood up against Barack Hussein, the long-legged Mac Daddy Obama, and many of the members walked out to church and never came back no more. And all Africa hated me during those years, Dean. You remember, it took spine. I stood up before the world on television, newspaper, the radio program, tele uh, 60 million views of, uh, of, of people listening to me on YouTube. I stood up, I did, and I didn't back down, and I'm not backing down now. I'm, I'm not backing down. But the thing that I find fascinating, Dean, is that I once endorsed Trump because he was a birther too. And then... As he was moving forward to try to capture the presidency, he made a public statement that Obama was born in America, that he was legit, and which I had risked my very life saying that Obama wasn't. I put my life and the life of the church members on the line. And then Trump comes along and says I was wrong. He then took it further. As I have been preaching the word of God God made male and female, and that's the end of story. But there comes this group called the LGBTQ. There are all these genders, and I preached against that. Trump comes along and waved the LGBTQ flag and said he's going to be better to the LGBTQ people than Hillary Clinton could be. I couldn't deal with no more of that. Now, just those two things what should have alarmed you, Dean, 
to the fact that the man is a liar, a traitor, and a skin flint. The fact he did that. You knew him? I'm sure you did. And now, because I tell the truth on him, all of a sudden, I ain't no, all that effort and time I told the truth on Obama, I was a good man. But once I tell the truth on Obama, I'm a bad man. You got it wrong, Dean. Listen, Dean, Trump has been accused of raping. I said, Trump has been accused of raping 26 women. 26 women have reported to authorities that Trump raped them. Now, I don't know that that's true. But 26 women? 26? Says he raped them? Suppose just one of those women told the truth, that he actually did rape them, that Trump did rape one woman. 26 said he did. They were liars. I don't think that they were. But just one. Then the man's a rapist. And yet, that does not demur your admiration or want him as your president, and you're going to cuss me out. When... I gave, I spoke the truth about Obama. I was a good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Tell the long-legged Mac Daddy, Obama, Obama. I was a good boy. Then wasn't I, Dean? Good boy. But then when I spoke the truth about a man who 26 women says he raped them, a man who first said he was a birther and that Obama wasn't born in Honolulu, then to get the presidency, said Obama was born in Honolulu and said he'd be better to the LGBTQ queers than Hillary Clinton could be. And now I speak the truth about him and all of a sudden I'm a bad boy. Is that right? And you won't even pray with me that they're trying to take our property. There's something deeply hypocritical about that, Dean. Boy, you need to get your stuff together. And all the rest of y'all out there. <laughs> this Trump, Trump is a lie. He lies about everything. And everything. listen, Trump lies about stuff. He don't have to lie. He just lies. He just can't help himself. He just lies. The man is monarchical. He's a tribulation. He's a servant of Satan. And yet all y'all running around here going to tap America for this servant of Satan. The same way everybody want to tap America for Barack Hussein, the long-legged Mac Daddy Obama. Both of them. Both of them are from the source of evil. Both of them are from the seed of Satan. Both of them are from the pit of hell. Not just one of them, but both of them. However, your hypocritical bone and the hypocritical bone of a whole lot of people, 26 women have accused Trump of lying. Listen, Dean, you probably haven't even dated 26 women. <laughs> 26 said he raped. And let's say, you say, well, the women lied. Well, I don't think that they did. But let's just, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But if one, if Trump has raped one woman, and yet you're going to say, <laughs> I should praise him? If he's raped just one, a rapist, a rapist, a man raped. In addition to the fact, you know the boy lies. You know that man lies more than a cross tie. And the cross tie lies from end to end. So, so now you're going to pray and say, you don't know who's worse, me or the melon bank. you got to be out your damn mind. you got to be lost. You're just, trying to stab, you're just trying to stab me because I told the truth on Trump. It ain't that you don't like me. You just want me to stop telling the truth on that boy because I tell the truth. And everybody know I told the truth. And you know it's true. You, Dean, you know what I'm saying about Trump is true. You just were willing to swallow his piss rather than swallowing Obama's feces. That's all there into that. And everybody knows. Case closed. Full stop. Boom shakalaka goes right there. 